Hi, this is The Good Life Investor and I had some clients inquiring regarding Costa Rica and the residency options in Costa Rica so I thought it would be a good idea to have a video dedicated on the options that you have in establishing a residency in Costa Rica. So in this video I would like to discuss what are the benefits or the positives of having a residency in Costa Rica and then I'll also like to uh, discuss the negatives or the flip side or the cons of this residency. Before we get started, if you're new to my channel, my name is Jay Suresh and here we discuss investments, residencies and residencies that lead to citizenships. So if you haven't subscribed, go ahead and subscribe to my channel so you're always up to date on all the programs. All right, let's get started. So residency in Costa Rica. One of the biggest advantages of this type of residency is that the entry point is quite low. So if you invest $100,000 USD in Costa Rica in purchasing your own property, it could be a condo, it could be any other property. And once you make this investment, you get a residency in Costa Rica. So that's the biggest advantage is that the entry point is significantly low. It doesn't have any hefty fees that would be normally associated with a golden visa based residency here you're buying your own property and you have the residency so that's the first advantage the second advantage is that uh, this is a lifestyle play meaning if you are looking to actually reside in a Latin American country then a lot of people actually like spending time in Costa Rica. So if you're moving with your family, this is a good destination to spend time in. When you compare some of the Latin residency options, there's a lot of discussion, a lot of curiosity about the safety situation, etc. You just have to use common sense. But when you compare Costa Rica with some of the other options, then a lot of people find this as a more attractive option in terms of actually physically residing and spending time in Costa Rica. So from that perspective, this is a good option. Again, this is not investment, immigration, legal or tax advice. This is educational content so that you're aware of what the options are and how we can help you establish your residency. So the third advantage is that a lot of passports, especially the CBI passports, have access to Costa Rica. So if you're looking to pair a residency with one of those passports, then Costa Rica is an interesting choice. It really ranks much higher as compared to some of the other Latin American choices. Costa Rica is also an alternative to Mexico. So if you like Mexico, then that's a great thing. If you're looking for an alternate residency in addition to Mexico, then Costa Rica is that cheap entry point where you can Airbnb or rent your property and have that residency permit on the side. And if you want to occupy your property, then you have both the options in place. The fourth advantage of a Costa Rican residency is that the residency is flexible. So you can spend as less or as much time in Costa Rica. There is no minimum to establish or maintain the residency in Costa Rica. As long as you're maintaining your property investment, meaning you've purchased a property, it's on your name and you continue to own it, your residency permit is secure. The time on the ground is really not an issue in this case. So these are the four advantages of Costa Rica and why this residency is so attractive. If you are interested in purchasing your condo in Costa Rica, we can get you started with that option as well as initiating your residency option so we can help you end to end. So now that I've explained all the advantages, I'd like to focus on some of the cons of this type of residency. So if you're looking to get your citizenship from this country, this is clearly not an attractive option in that case because the residency requirements is pretty stiff. You have to live there more than half the time in the year to establish tax residency, meaning each year you'll have to spend more than 180 days. And if you do that for seven years, then that's when you would eventually qualify for citizenship. This is a very stiff residency requirement and a lot of people won't find this as an attractive option from a citizenship perspective. So if you are looking to pair a residency with one of your 
passports, then this is a great option. But if you're looking for that citizenship benefit out of your residency, then this is clearly not one of the best choices. Now, if you compare Costa Rica with Dominican Republic, Dominican Republic requires you to have a property worth 200K and that's when you get the residency. And that residency is a permanent residency and leads to citizenship in two years if you maintain certain requirements. But here, this is half the price, meaning you're getting in a residency for 100K in your own property but then this is not leading to citizenship anytime soon. So that is the main difference between a Dominican Republic and a Costa Rica. Dominican Republic is more attractive from eventually getting your citizenship from that country. Costa Rica is more attractive from a lifestyle perspective, meaning if you actually want to enjoy uh, spending time in a country, then this is better as compared to some of the options. All right, I hope you liked this video. If you did, give me a thumbs up and see you in the next one.